And actually, that's no good. <laughs> <laughs> Do less. Welcome back, guys. It's Maury here, and today we're taking a look at defense with Cypher, specifically on every single map in Valorant and every single bomb site A, B, and if it has it, C, where to set up your cages, your trip wires, and your cameras to make sure that you can take advantage of holding down that site all on your own and destroying that enemy team that's attacking. All right, so for Ascent, what we want to do is place our camera right up here near this pole. The only way to get there is to actually jump off heaven, or if you're standing in the perfect spot somewhere around here, you might be able to get it, but the easiest thing to do is literally just jump in place. And from there, you've got a really good line of sight of everything here. From there, what I'm going to do is place a trip on this brick, and as you can see, it's going around the wall to my side. If we keep moving it left, we can actually get it on our side of the wall like that. So that way, when people are pushing in, they actually can't get the line of sight to destroy it. So they basically have no choice but to set it off or, you know, they can throw a raised grenade or something like that to blow it up. From there, you can put another one right here, which goes into the brick here. That's going to cover default plant. So once they rush onto site, they're going to go straight up to this generator and they're not, they're never going to run fully exposing themselves to heaven and then up like this. They just don't do it. They're going to run straight through it to there. From there, if you stand in this corner here and you aim with, see the little white line between my middle two abilities on the bottom, I'm using that on this wall right here and I'm going up until I'm above this little black mark here, specifically on this line right here that I'm kind of cutting into. And we want to be slightly on the inside because what we want to do is hit the arch and land our trap up on that little ledge right there. So there you have it. Now we have a one-way setup right there. So when someone pushes into site, we could sit, we could sit hell, for example, and we can set that off and then we can have a really good line of sight. But where I like to sit is up in heaven so we can actually use that and get really good peaks on them because we can see their little tootsies and they can't see us. For B-Site, what we want to do is put our camera straight up here. This just gives us a really good line of sight of all the entry points, including the one right below it. From there, we want to get in the corner and aim at this little war world up here. And you'll see like a little funny little brick outline. I'm kind of drawing a circle around it there. If we stand there, we crouch and we throw our cage, it's going to land up on that little ledge, creating a one way. Then you want to turn straight to your left, aim at the roof above this doorway, throw another one. It's going to land up there, creating another one way for us. Now, what we want to do is put a one trap there and one trap on the corner here, going straight into logs. Then we can sit on stairs and we can actually detonate our one ways through the wall so don't stand here waiting like this you actually literally want to use the camera as soon as you think there might be someone there you can actually detonate it and then step straight around and go for the kill this one here you don't use the camera you simply just detonate it yourself and you've got a nice little one way right there now if i pick up my traps there is actually a second setup for this site which goes a little something like this you want the camera in the exact same spot you set up your tripwire right here going to the point where they actually uh, do the um, the door right there. So when they enter the site, they're going to walk here and trip it because no one ever is walking around like this. And like this, they typically come in here to peek the angles and be as far away as possible as they try and close the door. So when that goes off, we also want to have another tripwire set up here and we want to throw our trap about here, just a little bit in front. So when it gets set off, it kind of hides the uh, the sides of the trap so they won't see it until it's too late. From there, what we want to do is we want to sit in the back alley here. If they push this trap, we can set off the, uh, the smoke that we just had there. If they push in to close the door, we can actually wall bang through this and try and kill them with their outline. And if they go and hide in logs, which they sometimes do, you can use your camera to pin them. You can do the same thing if they're over here trying to close the door and you can see when they're actually pushing you and when to set off the smoke using the camera as well. And then we can actually just shoot straight into logs and try and pick up the kill like that. So next we have a site on Bind. And what I actually like to do is for both no matter how this is being played, I basically play the same setup, which is 
I put this little one from the corner here. I put a trap here. And then I'll move down and put one on the stairs. Moving into the box right here. And I'll throw another trap right here in the middle. So how this works basically is if they're rushing you, you can pop this specific trap, which is going to move them down onto your trip wire. And if they rush you, you've got another one to pop here and you can back up further, giving you an advantage. Now, if I put those um, cages back where they were, let's say here and here, what I can actually do is let's say I am playing bathrooms, for example. I can either set my camera up here. Let's say I'm playing in showers. I can still set set this off or set this off to help my team who are holding these positions. Or alternatively, I could, if I wanted to, I can actually put my camera up here and then I can watch this like that and just swing for little duels and basically pick kills up that way and then come back out here after that and just set them off manually if I don't have my uh, camera set up right there. For the B site, I love this hookah one personally. I put this little um, trip wire right here on the red cushion. So on the bottom of the red cushion, right against the wall, you're gonna get a blue because then it grabs onto this section here. From there, I'm gonna put a camera outside the map and I'm gonna hop up on this box right here. I'm gonna watch. Second someone comes, if they come, I am going to throw my trap down, detonate my trap, and then look over the edge and try and get a kill into the trap. You, the reason you don't place it beforehand is you want to actually get the element of surprise. And if they decide to push A, you haven't wasted your utility. Let's say I have thrown this down here and I detonate it. I see heaps of people coming. Rather than going for the first kill, I may decide to basically back it up, come here, look up, See this little arch right here? Right above this section here, you want to throw your little uh, one way. And then you can set the cage off here and you can get kills through here by looking for their feet if you crouch. The second setup, guys, I aim just on this box here below this section here. And you want to place it right here so that anyone jumping out of the window has to cross this line to go to the default plant. And then you want to put a trap right in the center to try and disguise that as best as possible. Throw a trap anywhere in the center here and then put another trip wire right here in the doorway. Set your camera up here on the side and hide right here on elbow with your gun out. Then you use the camera. Second, you hear people coming or you get a call out that someone's coming. You can pop Keep this, trigger. pop Keep that. Trigger. That's gonna encourage them to move into the site. You can go for a ping or you can just swing and start shooting straight through. Now this, this one that I put here, the reason Keep I put it trigger. here is it defends you from hookah. If I had just done this one, you still open to hookah and you will get shot in the face. I'll show you what I mean. If I just pop Keep this and put the trap over there in the doorway, you're still gonna get shot from here. So you wanna cover yourself by having a second trap right there, and then you can go for picks and use the camera to spot people out. Alrighty, for A site, we can put our camera right up here. We just jump to set it up as always. The reason for this one is we can see all of the top of A, but we can also see straight through into A main like that. From there, you can put a trip wire here initially and they will eventually get used to this and they'll end up shooting it. So what you can do after a while is set up another one here and I'll show you that in a sec. What you also want to do is you want to set one up off the stairs right here into the side of the wall here. It makes it harder for them to shoot. And then if you come up here, you can actually throw a cage up on the roof here creating a one way. You can set the other trip wire after they have got used to that one right here making it just a different challenge for them and you can throw your trap uh so your trap your cage right there so you can actually play on site and how we would do this is we would use the camera and the second we see someone coming a main Keeps we then trigger. set this off and we've got a nice little one way here to shoot through and if they are rushing Keeps here trigger. you can set that cage up there you would only do this one if uh if they've already tripped the first one all the way back there an alternative setup would be to put your camera right here and you could play right here. What you would then do is you would just watch this. The second you see the gun barrel, you would set off the one way and you would just shoot them straight through the actual uh, the metal here for a wall bang kill. And you could do the same thing over here. If you're watching over here, the second you see them, you set off the trap. If you catch them, you'll see their outline and then you can go for a wall bang as well. All right, guys, so if you were going to play in tower, what you want to do is put your camera right here. That way your camera can see here and it can see into arcade as well. 
from there, what we want to do is place a tripwire. If we're very careful, we can get a good little tripwire. Takes a little bit of playing around, but you can get it so it actually lands here on the wall. Makes it harder to destroy. We're not gonna put a cage on that one instead. We're gonna go up here, and as I mentioned before, we're gonna play in tower. We're gonna put one here for anyone that comes up the rope, and a little cage in case they are pushing. So we can actually just use it as a de defense if we hear someone coming up the um, up the trip wire. Uh, sorry, Bruh. up the zip. We can actually He's just pop it good. off here, and then we are good to go. We can prevent potentially catch them there, and we can also peek here. And we just use camera to watch to see if they're actually going on a site. And when they're on site, you can swing and shoot them from there. An alternative setup would be to put your camera up here in the tree. If I can get it to do it, there we go. So now we have. Good little line of sight of the whole site again. And this is for if we want to play specifically in mid. So we'll throw this here and we will throw this out here and one there as well. So now we can actually sit back around the corner in here and we can, if we hear them coming on the, on the side in arcade, we can pop that and wait to see if any of them push through. And we can pop that one if they're pushing for main just to help delay. And then it's very easy to roll off and wait for your team if you want a five-man push back in for a retake rather than trying to just defend it all on your own. Okay, so on Haven, we actually need to go up to Heaven first of all because we need to get onto this box Careful. in the center of the map so that we can actually place our camera right here. The reason for that is we can see straight down into this little courtyard. Often, people will smoke right here which means you have a lot of enemies just pooling here, waiting for the smoke to go down to flood the site. So that works really well. From there, we want to put our trip wires down and you want to try and put them in a spot where they're not going to get shot. There's not great options here. So what I like to do is throw a cage a little bit further in and hopefully when that pops, it covers the lines as best as possible. It's kind of like a little bit of a you know trial and error to get it perfect. And I like to put one on sewers right here. And I actually like to smoke right here. That way you can actually smoke this yourself. You can go into the camera. They'll flood in thinking it's safe. You can shoot them, mark them, and then you can swing to actually kill them through your trap. All right, for B-side, I like to put one tripwire here and one tripwire right here, which covers the default plant where everyone runs to. From there, I'm going to throw one cage here to block the main entry. And I'm going to hop up on this box. I'm going to throw it right up between this yellow and gray one here. And then I am going to put my camera up here on the light, which you can do from up on this box. You'll struggle on the floor. So you need to actually hop up here to get that camera. Now that camera can look straight down here and it can actually detonate. It can actually He's detonate bigger. this one when, uh, when it's required. And you can see if they're pushing or if they destroy it from there. You can actually set this He's one off bigger. yourself and you can stand right here on the edge and look in and you can get kill on people who are not expecting you to be here or who are, who are focused on this section right here. You can also use that just to back out if you want to wait for your team to come in and reinforce you. Alrighty, so for Icebox, the first camera I like to place on the A site is actually right here on this pole and you'll see it comes up red. You actually have to jump in order to place it. As you see, it comes up blue for a split second. So just spam that and keep spamming the place trigger until you eventually get it up there. And that way you can have a really good line of sight into the main push through there. If we recall that, another one we can do is right here in this corner on the gray, the darker gray panel right at the bottom. And then if we want to, we could push up after we've placed that into the center island. If we want to get a cheeky little peek, we can then go to our camera, see when they're pushing over here, and then we can swing them, get a little kill. Now, for the traps, you want to set one up here like I have just set up here and another one straight here. So pretty straightforward. They're in line with each other. And then what you want to do is you want to throw a cage down here and a cage down here. So that way, let's say that I am up the back. I'm trying to uh, stall as long as I can and they start pushing up. I'm going to wait for someone to swing and then I can cage straight away trigger. pop that cage. I can cage pop trigger. this cage and it's just going to help us cover the trip wires so that way they push into it while our team is rotating to try and help us we can delay as long as possible all right guys so first things first for kitchen we want to put our trip wire right here reason for that is it's very hard to pick this and actually shoot it without setting it off because 
the either end of it is basically really well covered. From here, you want to put your camera right here on the angle. It will get shot out if they push mid, but you'll see some players either rotating A or B or all pushing mid before your camera gets shot out. And then you have really good information of where they're potentially going. From there, you can run straight down here and you can actually plant the next strip wire from up the top here. You can put it right on this box here and then you throw a, a smoke right there. So then when you Please detonate trigger. that, it covers the uh, trip wire when they're pushing in. They don't see it, they trigger it. That's how you want to play this one. For B site, same thing with the camera. It's red until you jump and then you can place it right here on where it joins the two black poles there. And from there, you have a really nice angle on this corner where they're not likely to spot your camera because if they're pushing in, they're going to be pushing from this angle initially, and as they get to here where they would start to see it, they're going to start actually checking different angles. So they're not going to see it from there. We're going to put a trip wire right here, and we are going to put a trip wire right here and a cage right here. Now, what we can do is we can play up in the box up here, and we can cage pop our triggered. cage so they don't see the trip wire. Then, if they push through our other trap, we can then throw another cage down here cage and set triggered. it off immediately to stall them there and we can play in this location or if we wanted to we could be playing from back here cage same trigger. thing you pop the cage here you can shoot through it if you want to and you can peek this section while the smoke is blocking you so you've got a lot of different options there on that site all right for a site split what i like to do is place my camera outside the map right here you basically aim at the rail and then jump a little bit and you get it outside the map so you can as you can see i'm on the roof here and you can see all the way down the corridor there from there i like to place my tripwire right on this line along here right where the stairs start and from there i come back to here just inside this little section here and I aim at this little triangle right here, specifically if this was the top and this is the bottom, I aim halfway up. And when I throw my cage, we get a one way. Now, when you see them start to push in with the camera, you can then pop cage the one way as they're rushing and you can start shooting and they can't see you, but you can see them. Also, you wanna have a trip wire set up here and a cage set up here so that way when you're up here shooting at them down here, you're down here and you see, okay, a few of them have come up here. You quickly detonate this and you can either shoot through it or you can use it to rotate off if you want to wait to, for your team to get on site. For B site split, if you are looking after B site on your own, you don't have anyone sitting mid, what I like to do is do one trip wire here and one trip wire right here like that. Then we are going to throw one cage here and one cage there. What we can simply do here is stand here. As they start to rush, cage you triggered. pop this and you can actually stand on the edge and shoot over the top of it like this. And if they cage rush really triggered. hard, you can pop the second one and do that or bail out using the smoke to cover you. Let's say, however, that you have someone sitting mid or they're sitting in heaven and you are the one sitting specifically on B site. Then what I like to do is place a camera up here just on the edge here a little bit challenging to get but once you get it you can see straight in here and they have to swing quite deep into this to actually get it from there you can drop down you can put a trip wire here you can throw a cage into the roof right there and then bounce back down here to create a one way and we can put one that goes right here like this so now we have a trip wire leading right to default plant and we have this so we could sit right here we could sit back side if we want and as they come in Cage you can hit this you've got a one way now you can see their feet they can't see you you can get some kills or you can just use it to rotate back to alley and wait for your team to reinforce you all righty guys so last but not least i'll put a trip wire right here to there we go just to stop anyone flanking from there we're going to run in and put our camera straight up here come on there we go and then from there we're gonna put our trap right here going across to the pyramid throw a smoke there and finally there is a one-way setup that you can do by throwing your trap straight into the roof there and it goes up there now what you want to do is hug the corner you want to basically stand here like this you can He's set it off it. if you get a call out that people are coming mid and you can go for little kills or just bait them waiting with a pre-aim for them to actually go around your smoke 
and you can use your camera to set off this one if they're pushing from here. Then if you get flanked, the other tripwire will let you know. All right, guys, so I like to put my camera above this little bridge. I just jump around here until it eventually goes blue. From there, we want to set up a tripwire to go across from default plant to cut anyone off. I'm going to throw a cage on that. And we are going to set up one here on the pipe as well and a cage on that as well. From there, I like to stand all the way back around here and we use the camera to basically determine what's going on. As soon as they enter the site, you can trigger the two cages. One might go to plant straight away and then you're just focusing on this here. If you get someone with the trip, you can actually shoot through this wall. So their outline would obviously be there and you can swing and kill them here. If they don't and they back up and you can check with your cameras, you can again go for more, more kills that way. 